Hey guys, welcome to this video and here I'm going to share with you how you can quickly and easily detect if your users are accessing your application via desktop or mobile. If that's what you are looking to see, if you can implement that in your project, you might want to watch this video towards the end because you're going to learn how to do that very easily and very quickly. All right, let's get started. So on the screen, you'll see it's just a blank screen. Nothing is happening. So if I look at the source code of it, by the way, I'm using a Chrome. So if I right click here, click on inspect. And if I move this over here a little bit and then go under console, and then if I refresh the page, you'll see on the right hand side, a whole bunch of other text comes up. This is what they call is JSON object. And here you can determine whether it is what kind of browser this particular uh, Internet Explorer or Chrome or Firefox or whichever type of browser that it's using. It will tell you that, for example, right now I'm using Chrome. That's why it says Chrome and what kind of CPU it is, device, whether it is a mobile or desktop. If it's not mobile in this particular object, it's not, it's going to have blank and whether it is a WebKit, OS, so on and so forth. So for example, let me change this. So if I put, click on this little, looks like a little tablet and a cell phone thing. If I click on this and here in Chrome, I have the ability to change, uh, the device type to a different ones. They give you a whole bunch of other ones. I'm just gonna go through a few of them. So if I click on this and let's just say I'll pick Kindle, Fire Kindle. If I refresh it now and I expand this and now you'll see the device vendor is Amazon and their operating system is Linux. And let's do another one. Let's just do Google Pixel 2. And if I refresh it, and now it says this is the vendor is Google model is Google Pixel and this will only come up if this particular device is mobile otherwise it's going to have a blank like we saw earlier so let's go another one let's just do a crappy iPhone so here it is iPhone and now it says Apple iPhone OS is iOS and then a whole bunch of other stuff. So having said that, that's great dandy to be like, oh my God, that's amazing, now what? Now the next part is how you can implement this in your project. So let me look at the source, show you the source course. So if I just click here, let's just say paste source course. I'll just do it here rather than opening up in a, another thing. So pretty much you're gonna use this particular URL, which is a UA dash parser dot mini and i will leave this in the description link so you can copy and paste this whole page to yourself and then after that if you want to initiate the function that they give you you just do it like this this particular line and then so you call this function like this and then it will give you a whole bunch of other attributes but you only want to call the function that is called get results and then you kind of console log this so let me show you another word so i'm going to open up my sublime text in here and let me just little adjust this window so i'm going to go here so for the most part what you are going to be interested in is the browser type device and os so if i save this and then go here and refresh the page so now you will see a little more user-friendly object so if you want to see so let me put this side by side for you so you will see what I'm talking about so let's move this here and this over here so at the very top which is this line this will give you this this will give you everything that you want and then out of this if you let me just expand this out so out of this if you want to know just the browser information you know what i'll just make this up there that's fine so if you now if you just want to move this over here too so you can see a side by side both of them so this will give you the result of everything which is all of the shabam and then if you want to know only the browser information which like you hear so use the dot syntax you're going to say result dot browser 
and this is going to give you all of the browser information for example major whether what kind of a version it is and then who is the the mobile what, what kind of name of the browser is and next if you want to know the information about device so you do dot syntax again so you say result device and this is going to give you this information which is the model the type and the vendor and then if you want to know the os last but not least you do this so let's just say that if you want to say i don't want to use anything just give me the most standard one so now you will see under the browser it is chrome let me just do this so let's refresh it now so now you'll see this is coming from desktop reason being because where we said right here second line from the bottom device it will have nothing so if you get this that means there's more than likely the person is accessing your application from a desktop however if you put a mobile view of it then you want to have something in here that will say indicate this is a mobile type all right so that having said all of that hopefully you guys can use this in your application and i am really happy that i was able to show you this i don't know why but but i'm always happy to show you stuff really cool stuff and if you guys have any questions don't hesitate to contact me via my website you can go to codewithmark.com forward slash contact send me all the questions you may have then i'll be glad to help you out in answering all the questions until next time happy coding guys